Hi Flosstube friends, welcome back to my channel for another Flossmas Parade. My name is Chris and today is week three of uh, my Flossmas celebrations and uh, this is parade number three, uh, Flossmas parade number three. We've already done uh, previous finishes and we've done a kit parade and today we're going to do a kitted up parade. Um, so let's get started. Um, I will mention that most of these are like ready to go. Fabric, uh, cut, surged or zigzagged edge, um, threads pulled, pattern, you know, even working copies made. Others, um, I haven't cut fabric or surged fabric. Some actually, um, I'm not, I, like some of them have two different fabrics in them because I haven't decided 100%. So I have quite a variety of levels of kitted up, but let's start. Um, so this one I don't have a picture of, but I will put a picture up here. Um, so this was gifted to me at one of the Hamilton Stitch-Ins that are run by Crafty Kim. I'll link her channel down below. She had gifted everybody that came to a Stitch-In day with this little kit of Helen D's uh, pattern, uh, fabric, floss, <laughs> you'll, you'll see. The title is basically what is stitched on the, the little pillow. So. So yeah, so Kim gifted us with the fabric and the flosses and all the accoutrements to finish the pillow. Um, so yeah, so this is kitted up and ready to go. A sweet little um, chart uh, that I'm looking forward to stitching. Uh, the next one that I have in here is a Brenda Gervais with thy needle. Uh, this is Spring Fling. So this is a little series she did a number of years ago. I know like this is the spring one and then the fall or Halloween one has the black cat in it. Um, so I do have that one as well, but I don't have it kitted up. I do have the fabric and I purchased this when I was at StitchCon in 2019 because they had this fabric displayed with the chart. So this is a picture of this plus fabric, but Looking at it now, so this is Chablis. Uh, this is definitely darker than the fabric in the chart. And I have to be honest, I think I'd rather have it a lighter pink. So I have bought myself some Rit dye that um, I think I might try dyeing some white linen, just a lighter shade of pink. And then I have, pardon me, so then here are the, all the called for fancy flosses. So they would look perfectly beautiful on this darker pink fabric, but I'm just not 100% sure if I want to go that dark. Who knows? I might, seeing the, seeing the threads on there, it does look beautiful. I might change my mind and still use this one, but, but yeah, it's pretty much ready to go. Okay, next up is the Friend Stitch Owl. This came in the Friend Stitch kit um, from one of their virtual retreats that they do. This was, I think, the second one that they did. Um, this little guy comes with this 18 count linen, and then you stitch him with one floss of. Um, this pearl cotton, this DMC pearl cotton. So you do one strand over two threads. And they finished them um, like as a little stand up, but I know, I know that Elizabeth Ann, Elizabeth Ann can stitch, she finished hers as a stand up and it was really cute. So I might follow her um, idea and do it as a stand up as well. Next up, this was a little Janlin chart that I picked up on a D-stash. So this is called Joy in the Journey. Blessed is a life that finds joy in the journey. And it's just all stitched in DMC, but this is just a chart. It doesn't come with fabric and floss. So I've kitted this up myself. Thank you. 
This is a piece of um, Oyster. It's a 32 count linen by hand dyed by Rolanda. And here are the flosses on that. So I think it's going to look really pretty. Sorry, I know the window's blowing out some of these colors a little bit, but so looking forward to that as a future start. So this one is, I believe it's just called The Bird Houses by Jardin Privé. Um, I just purchased this recently and showed up in one of my videos and I mentioned that um, I was gonna stitch it next year and every month, because there's 12 bird houses, one for every month, that I was going to stitch it um, next year. But I don't think I'm gonna do that now. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that in my plans video that I'm gonna do at the end of the year. Um, but part of the issue, I did go to kit this up the other day, and I, like you always do, right? You look at, oh, that's a nice little chart. I didn't really look at the stitch count, and it's like 300 and some stitches from end to end. Um, so that's pretty big. Like, if I was going to do that on 32 count, it's going to be like 25 inches long. And that's just a little bigger, I think, than I want it, just for, like, frame purposes and stuff. So... I was toying with the idea of doing it over one on 32 count, but I don't know that I'm going to enjoy that, especially for this big of a chart. It was just small, then maybe. But, so I might see about getting some 25 count Lugana and stitch it one over one on 25 count. But, so I do have all the flosses pulled for it, all the called for flosses. It's all done in DMC, but um, I don't have any fabric. So... I know it's in this bin of kitted up, but technically it's not kitted up, but it's on the way to being kitted up if that counts. That will be my cat. Because the bedroom door is closed, she thinks that she should be in here, so hopefully she'll give up soon. So I apologize. So this next one is the Little House Needleworks Farmhouse Christmas Series. Um, I do have all nine, all nine of the charts in here. Uh, this was a gift to me by my friend Gail down in Australia. Uh, she has a floss tube channel called Wombat, Wombat Hollow Crafts. I'll link that down below. And um, and yeah, she was kind enough and she sent me this whole series after she had stitched it. So I have it kitted up, ready to go. This is one where I'm a little bit undecided on the fabrics. I'll show you the flosses. So here are all the cold for fancy flosses. Um, the, I don't think you can get the called for fabric anymore. So I think at one, two, three stitch, they had suggested this, um, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Access commodities. Um, I forget what the color is. I'll put it on the screen down below. Uh, but this is, a, I think a 30 count and it's a big enough piece to do them all in a big you know a big square one on the one piece I know Gail turned hers into a cushion a, like a couch cushion type of size and it looked really cool um, but I'm still a little bit undecided because I had also seen somebody post a picture on Facebook and I'll try and insert the picture here if I can and they had done them all in a row so I'm kind of debating doing that and I even found a frame that I think would work for that but it would require stitching it on a 40 count. So this is 40 count Sahara. Um, this is by Hand Dyed by Rolanda. So I am debating doing it on that as well. I've never stitched on 40 count before. So again, I still have to make my final decision what I'm going to do, whether I'm going to do them all together in one big one on the 30 count or whether I'm going to do them on this 40 count in a row to fit within the frame, which might mean I, ha I might have to leave one or two of them out, but we'll see how that goes. This is Glendon Place's Flowers of the Holy Night. I have seen uh, my friend Dina at Half Stitch Cross Stitch. She has stitched this and it's just beautiful. And I was able to get this on a D-stash site. I got the pattern and it came with all of the silks 
and all of the beads. I didn't realize there was that many beads in there, but apparently there are. Um, and then it's just stitched on a 32 count antique white linen, so that was easy enough to order in. So that is all ready to go. This one I also was able to purchase through a D-Stash site. So this is the drawn thread. This is called Random Thoughts, and it's just this really fun, um, eclectic sampler type pattern but there's just a whole bunch of little gems in there there's little bees and there's the lady down at the bottom that's stitching with the cat beside her there's a little squirrel just lots of fun little things I just think it will be really interesting um, and again it it stitches uh, it, the pattern I think includes this border and I believe it teaches you how to do the hem stitch I haven't looked at it in detail but so yeah, so this, um, the call for is Summer Khaki, which I had in my stash. And it came with the flosses. And then I believe, yeah, there are, there are some charms and they are also included. So I don't stitch, stitch a lot of samplers, but um, I'm finding myself really, uh, I was going to say drawn to drawn thread patterns, but, but yeah, every time I see somebody stitching one or one on the D-Stash site or just when I'm looking, you know, through Instagram or whatever, I just, when I see the drawn thread patterns, I, I don't know what it is about them, but I just really quite like them. So uh, this would be the first one that I stitch, but I do have some more patterns in my stash that uh, I'll have to kit up for the future. Next up was also a purchase from a D-Stash site. So this was like a little kit. I don't know what the era this is from. 1989 apparently down here. Um, but it's this little basket of flowers which I thought was really really pretty. It is, I guess, petty point, like it is over one. It comes with everything. It comes with the fabric, it comes with the frame, it comes with all the flosses. And you can see that somebody did start stitching it. So they marked the center of the fabric and there are some stitches in there that I'll have to take a closer look at and decide if I'm happy just to continue on from where they left off or just what I want to do. But, um, but yeah, I just thought that was very sweet. And what's more fun than little teeny tiny stitches and little teeny tiny cross stitch things. So, so yeah, so that one's ready to go. Another one that I've had in my stash for a little while. Is this Little House Needleworks, the family Quaker, or the family sampler, sorry. Um, and I had seen Vana from the Twisted Stitcher show this on one of her videos from a long, 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 long time ago. And I didn't know it existed. And I just thought, well, that is so adorable. And the thing I loved about it is you can customize it. So the, the pattern gives you all the different configurations for boys and girls and bigger boys and little boys and bigger girls, little girls, all the animals, all the dogs, all the cats. I think there's some different color variations for the pets and I just love that idea that I could take this and personalize it uh, for my family so uh, I got this from traditional stitches I asked them to kit it up for me so it has the called for <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a lakeside linen. Yes. Oh, it's right there. Vintage buttercream by Lakeside Linen. So I've never stitched on Lakeside Linen. I know it's hard to get hold of these days. I got this back in 2020. I've had it for like three years, I think. Um, so yeah, so I'm really excited to 
stitch that in honor of my family. This one is another friend stitch pattern that we got in our class kit. An autumn gathering, let joy in. So it's kind of this little collage type pattern and they encourage you that you can take bits and pieces of it and uh, do different things with it. So I am considering that I might stitch this one, kind of like a street, you know, like my own little tiny town, <laughs> tiny town with uh, a row of houses, that sort of thing. So, um, and it comes with all the flosses. And then I believe it was stitched on the vintage country mocha. So I bought a piece of that. So I'm all ready to go. This is a recent purchase and I'll talk about this more in my, I, I, I've talked about this a little bit more in my November wrap up video at the end of November. Um, I was lucky enough to win a gift certificate from Kathy over at uh, Crafty Cat Crafty Cat Stitcher? Crafty Cat Stitcher? Is that what it is, Kathy? <laughs> I'll put it down here, down below. Um, but yeah, she was having a floss tube anniversary and was doing some giveaways, and I want a one, two, three gift certificate. And I decided to stitch uh, to purchase this Bluebird Garden by Artful Offerings. I actually had seen um, Kathy stitching this years ago. I'm pretty sure that's where I saw it. Um, and so then I was thinking, well, what a perfect thing. I've always wanted to stitch it. The gift certificate is from Kathy. Kathy stitched it before. It just seemed like a nice full circle. So that is what the pattern looks like, that adorable little bluebird. Here are all of the flosses. I think I got all of the call for, except for the, uh, the yellow because there's just a bit of yellow in his beak and in each of the flowers. So I figured I didn't need to buy a variegated yellow or I could just use a yellow that I have or I could use a DMC. But I got all the other cold fours. So the cold four fabric was Weeks Dye Works Putty. So I did decide to buy it, but and again, this light's blowing it out quite a bit. It's very green. Like, I should go back to Kathy's video and see what she stitched it on. But it's certainly much darker than what the model photo looks like. And I wasn't sure I wanted it on that dark. So I just grabbed another little piece of the hand dyed by Rolanda's Oyster which is this one, which I think looks almost identical to that, or very close anyway. And the colors all look great on there, so I'm gonna stitch in that. So this one is definitely all ready to go. So we're down to the last one. This one's kitted up to the point that it's in one of my project bags. These adorable little cats. Well, I'll put in a photo. So this is called Fuji. It's a Dimples Designs. Designed by Terrence Nolan. And he's just gonna be stitched on an antique white. I did look at a bunch of different fabrics, but decided the white was just gonna showcase um, him like a little kind of like a little art piece so um so yeah just a lot of really natural colors a little bit of blue and then there are some specialty fibers so there's a couple of different whispers 
and then these splendors and a little bit of chronic. So yeah, I'm I'm excited to stitch him too. I think that's going to be a fun stitch. Um, again, I kind of thought it was small, but when you look at the stitch count, it's maybe not quite as small as I thought. 132 by 224, so just looks like such a little bird. You think the pattern's little, but so yeah. So those are all my projects that are kitted up and ready to go. I um, I do have some plans for some new starts next year. So if you're curious about that, then feel free to watch for my um, planning video that's going to be coming at the end of the year. But we're still celebrating Flossmas right now. Now, I might not see you until after Christmas. So uh, before I forget, I'm just going to wish everybody Merry Christmas if you celebrate, Happy Holidays, Happy December. Um, but I will be back for one more Flossmas parade between Christmas and New Year's, and that will be my annual year-end wrap-up whip parade. Um, and I'll show you all my works in progress, and I'm actually going to show you, I think, basically everything that I stitched on in um, 2023. So I may have some photos of some finishes and things like that. So, um, And then I will do a planning video uh, either at the end of December or the beginning of January to talk about what I'm planning on doing next year. But until then, thank you again, everybody. I know there's a lot of content this time of year. I know everybody's busy this time of year. So if you've taken the time to sit down and spend a little time with me and maybe see some charts you hadn't seen before, um, I'm just thankful that you... Um, came and hung out with me today. So take care, everybody. Happy holidays. I'll see you later. Bye.